How's it going, guys? Hope you're having a happy Sunday. Um, today's gonna be an interesting shave. Uh, so I'm going to a buddy of mine's wedding today. Um, so we're gonna be using a real special scent. Zaharov. You know I had to go with the Zaharov, man. It's one of my favorite scents. It's I think it's in my top five right now. But uh, yeah, it's Cologne. Uh, another favorite Cologne dupes of mine are uh, Trismegistus and Massacre of the Innocents. Those are both by Declaration. Uh, Creed Aventus has really grown on me too. Uh, this is, yeah, there's just so many good ones out there. When I first got into this hobby, I wasn't really into that, but they're, they're just growing on you. And you might know, you might notice there's a little bit of some smearing on my face. So uh, I do actually something pretty interesting. I actually use an unscented soap called Bear Sierra from Holy Cow. This is uh, obviously the Sierra base. And there's like certain properties that I like getting out of my soap. Um, the cardinal base is pretty great, um, but like, I feel like I kind of want it to be a little bit thicker. Um, I feel like I get a little bit better post shave out of the, the Sierra base. So it's kind of like a subjective thing for me, but I added to some soaps that were like, I kind of uh, expect kind of different properties out of them. It's not like it's bad or anything, but it's something I do. Um, so for the brush today, it's actually kind of matching the color of the Zaharo soap. This is my That Darn Rob handle with a Declaration B6 knot. So this is one of the softer knots you could get. Um, I recommend, if you're interested in like Declaration knots, you check out uh, Kai Triska. He's done like reviews on like almost every knot, like a bunch of them. Um, very detailed, he knows way more than I do. But uh, yeah, um, I actually have this up for trade right now because, or I might sell it because for me, it's a little bit too soft. Um, yeah, I kind of like a little bit scrubbiness on my knots. It's literally preference. It's not like this knot is better than that. Everyone has different preferences, but before I talk too much, I'm just gonna get into loading. Uh, I forgot to load before the video, so. So we're at 20, a little up to two minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah, this scent has like 30 different notes. No, nah, more like 13, according to Ken at Shave326. Wow, dropped two hairs already, okay. Um, yeah, it's got a ton of notes and like, they just complement each other so well. Um, and I liked it so much that I just ended up picking up the uh, cologne. Yeah, like, I don't know, it's like it's like one of those scents where it's like, it didn't blow me away when I first got it, but every time I used it, it's like, damn, this is pretty nice. All right, that should be plenty, right? Oops. Yes, yeah, so this is the uh, cologne. Awesome stuff. You can see, you can tell it's barely used. Um, yeah, don't even ask me how a wedding is gonna go down in a pandemic. I'm probably gonna be wearing a mask. We'll see how see what happens. But yeah, gonna apply a little bit of thrilling pre shave because why not? <laughs> All right, let's get to a little lathering. Oh. Uh, let me go over the razor. I thought I was gonna do a comparison today between the Carbon CX that I did in one of my earlier videos versus the Mass Immune uh, Adachi Hybrid, but I wanted to get more accustomed to the razor first, get used to it. So this is it right now. I threw on my uh, Outlaw, Alpha Outlaw handle because this is one of my favorite handles. It's got like an industrial feel. The Carbon handle is actually pretty nice. I like Carbon so much that I ordered a titanium handle. It was actually only 70 bucks which for titanium is insane. Like find me a handle that's titanium that costs $70. Like I'll wait, even the ones on Etsy, I think are at least a hundred. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, I got a fresh Nasset in here cause I haven't used Nasset in a while. And let me just get into the lather before I waste too much time. Yeah, so I don't know. It's like a love hate relationship with this brush. Um, you might call me picky, but when you're spending a lot of money on something, you kind of expect, uh, certain things. That's all. It's not like it's bad. It's like, it's like the same thing with soap bases. It's like, I feel like a lot of us have become picky in this hobby about certain things that we like. And a lot of it, a lot of these things in this hobby are subjective. It's not like, uh, 
one thing is right and the other one's not but um but yeah like they're they're all amazing you know after a certain point <laughs> all right hopefully this doesn't take forever to dial in but we'll see what happens yeah this scent is just solid um i found like the splash has a lot of staying power too and that was like one of my favorite splashes on the market the ingredients are actually very similar to that of Mallow Groomings. Uh, it, I mean, it's got some similarities. It's not like a copy or anything, but they're both like top tier splashes. Um, yeah, I'm not really into the all alcohol heavy splashes. You know, I feel like they just dry out your skin. Dang, this brush is shedding like crazy, which doesn't normally happen. Yeah, it was like two or three years being dramatic. Yeah, this stuff is super thick. That's what happens when you add an unscented soap. But I've done it before. It sounds crazy. And it really takes my lather to the next level. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, why not? You could literally, it takes two seconds to just throw it on. And it's unscented, so why not? Only thing is it takes longer to dial in. Yeah, this stuff is like super thick right now. Alright, we'll work with it. Alright, where is the razor? Cool. Yeah, so first pass with the carbon. CX. Oh, also, we're working with uh, about a day and a half of growth. Uh, call me crazy, but this shave was so close from the carbon last time that I didn't feel like shaving yesterday. And I'm a daily shaver, so I don't know. Like it was like 18 hours later, and I was pretty close to BBS. And has that happened before? Yeah, but not as often as you know you might think. A little tugging. Um, that's expected on the first pass. Fresh blade as well. Yeah, to kind of reiterate my uh, thoughts on this razor, um, I'd say the Game Changer 0.84 is a smoother shaver. This one might be more efficient. It's like a good kind of compromise. It's it's like what you're looking for, you know? Um, let me just let me try to finish this pass quick though. Yeah, but I like I kind of like this scent so much that it just, um, that I just kind of ordered a pack of Splash because like, some days where I'm wearing the mask all day, I'll just throw on the splash. Sometimes I shave at night. So, um, yeah, I'll just throw on the splash and it just gives me protection all day. Like, that's awesome. Yeah, so I already knocked down a good amount. Let's see. Cool. So what I'll do is I'll kind of, I don't waste too much lather here. Put that back into the brush. Get my hands quick rinse. All right, first pass went pretty well. Yeah, man, it's pretty smooth, at least uh, with the green. I think it might be a keeper. So I've actually recently sold off a bunch of razors. I had a crazy collection. It was getting out of hand, man. Um, yeah, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, eventually I'm gonna narrow it down to like, you know, two or three razors, kind of the way, uh, same way Chief does it. Because, you know, if, if you have like a big rotation, like it's cool to collect things, but like 
if you have a big rotation and you're not like reaching for something and like three months goes by, it's like no, it's like no point. I'd rather just give it to someone, uh, you know, for cheap or something so they could use it. That's kind of my thought process. I mean, but if I find something is like just as good as like, you know, my top razor maybe, um, I'll keep it, give it a rotation. Like my timeless, for example, my 0.68. The finishing is so nice on it. I just don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> I haven't used it in like a couple weeks. Um, it's super smooth. I just, I kind of wanted more efficiency out of it. The feather blade inside does a good job with it. I might revisit it at one point, but yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of just throwing the water in the brush this time. Cause the last time it was, the water was like all over my face. All right, cool. We're pretty good. Yeah, that's very, very slick. I don't know if you guys have tried the Sierra base, but I like, I like knocked it. Like I was like not impressed because I was expecting, you know, it's a $30 base, it's $30 soap. I'm like, this is ridiculous. What makes it so good? And I kind of just didn't think about that when I started using it more. And I was like, the soap's awesome. Like it, it didn't give me the most voluminous lather, like, but it's not really about how it looks. It's kind of about how it performs. Um, like the slickness was there. The poche shave was like incredible. Um, it's on par with like Zingari Man. Um, and that kind of did it for me. And I picked up this, uh, it's retails for like 30 bucks. I got it, no, 24. I got it for like 20 bucks used like shipped so not too bad Ooh. supposed to go against the grain or across rather i'm actually curious to know uh you know what your guys favorite soaps are why not um also another thing that yeah, can that like I've been curious to hear like you know most people in the hobby is like what's what do you prefer hot water or cold water because like uh, a few months ago I used you know hot water and I used to get a ton of irritation and literally as soon as I switched to cold it just went away you know I'm sure it became better at shaving but over time like around three or four months ago I went from shaving like every other day to every day because I just have a crap ton of soap. So I was like, you know, let me let me work on my technique since I'm, you know, beginning to doing this every day. And um, I definitely got better, less irritation. Yeah, this thing is just singing right now, it's super loud. Yeah, I actually like the carbon handle. It's pretty badass, but like this, this is such an industrial handle. Bull Goose Shaving has it for like 30 bucks. I think it's sold out. I think it's called the Bravo. <clears throat> it's by Alpha Shaving. Alpha Bravo handle. I love it. Like it's on par with the Rex handle, like terms of grip. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, so Ken, you were right, man. It's a good razor. Is it my best one? Nope. <laughs> it's, it's It might be top three though. Like, I like it enough that like, I, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna keep this, you know, for good. Um, and that's hard. It's a hard thing for me to say because, you know, I plan on offloading a lot of stuff in the future. I figured it'd be cool to make some videos in the meantime and give you guys my thoughts. I could pr pretty pretty much do comparisons um, and see what you guys think, you know? So far, so good though. I'm trying not to look in the camera because I get distracted. So I'm just looking at the mirror.
Um, in comparison, since I used that razor recently, the BBS by Razor Rock, um, I find this definitely more efficient. Tadless smooth, both pretty solid razors. Completely different, but they're just the ones that are most fresh in my head right now. Um, yeah, let me. I'm gonna keep the lather on this time, and then do add some water. Doug Bear, uh, cool dude, he commented on one of my first video. Um, and you know, he's a super nice guy. But I was telling him I had bad luck with the froth method. And so I'm definitely gonna be going back to it because I, I said I used uh, too much water. And that's exactly what I did. I filled like the water all the way to the top of the puck. And he said to only use like a quarter of the lid, <laughs> not the actual puck. So that's what happened. So I'll probably try that out next week. I'm gonna try to participate in uh, Ken's bowl lathering week thing. I don't really have any bowls though. I have some glass jars, but no bowls. So I'll use that. All right. Won't be too picky with the lather today. Yeah, but if, um, if Maggers ever drops a sample of this Zaharoff, I highly recommend giving it a shot because you might hate it, you might love it. Uh, you know, uh, Magger samples are the best for like trying stuff out, I think. I think um, one of the things I like about Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is they literally charge you a dollar for a sample and it's like the cologne. No, not cologne, it's the uh, aftershave, aftershave slash cologne. And it gives you a good a chance to try the, so the scents because he sells like 60 cents, dude. It's like, no one's gonna buy all that just to try it out and they might hate it. Scents are so subjective too. So like I could love one scent and the next guy can hate it. And that, that's really true. I already hit this part, so I'm not gonna hit it too much. Pretty close. <clears throat> yeah, so the next pretty good. Yeah, so far, dude, I'm pretty close to BBS already. Like, just a casual couple passes. I'm sorry the video is so long. <laughs> I'll try to get it down. Like, once I get it, like, once I get the hang of it, I'll try to get it down to like 15 minutes. We'll see. Um, you yeah, know, we'll see. Um, just feeling some stubble. It's crazy because, you know, the hair just grows in multiple directions on the neck. Like on my face, it's like one, two, three on the neck. Different story. Yeah, once I get more comfortable with this razor, I'll probably do a comparison with the Nadachi, but I kind of already know how it's going to turn out. I feel like the Masamune Hidachi will come out to be slightly more smooth and maybe a tad less efficient. Um, you'll be splitting hairs at that point. I told myself I'd never sell that razor though. It's the black one. I have it right here. Like, if I stop using this, I'm just going to use this as my travel razor. It's like 80 grams, 83 or something. Awesome. Awesome razor. Um, a little pricey. The only thing I don't like about it is the handle. You can't really use third party handles. Um, yeah. What am I gonna do? Rinse my face off. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna do another shape up on my face. I absolutely love this scent. Can be you going back to the Feather SS uh, Camasori? Yeah, it's not a real Camasori, not a real straight, but it's all the experience I have. So, with with a straight razor. <laughs> I'm using a uh, Kai Captain Mild blender here, and. 
Yeah, it's called a Captain Mild, but <laughs> it's like the sharpest blade I have, literally in my entire den. It's super sharp. It might be sharper than, oh, we got a little weeper. Feather, feather super, feather professional super blades, because they have a wider exposure. Yeah. But you know what? After like two or three shaves, they smooth out and they last forever. Like this is probably, what, 15 uses or something? It just keeps going. Almost there. Halfway. Also, I have a crack ton of lather left in the brush. Yep. I like this handle. What do you guys think of this handle? It's nice. Um, my favorites are the Jeffersons right now. Just they're more comfortable to hold. Sorry, I asked like 20 questions. Like, <laughs> you don't have to answer them all if you don't want to. Yeah, maybe when I get to like 100 subscribers or something, we'll see. Um, maybe I'll just shave off the whole beard. <laughs> I just feel like I look weird without a beard. It's been like, I don't know, four years. Maybe less, three. We'll see. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna spray some water. On my neck real quick. I'm gonna use that residual slickness. Let's see. Yeah, they're pretty good actually. But yeah, let me guys know if you want me to do any comparisons. Um I guess as I crank out some videos, you'll kind of know what I have in my den, things you might want to see, or if you have any questions, whatever, or things you think I should do better, whatever. Kind of just, you know, have, trying to have a good time, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I got a little hairline look in here, so just rub that in that hairline I don't know if, my hairline's pretty good <laughs> like some other people it kind of grows longer here here so I'm pretty thankful oops not sure if the video cut off or not got a text message all right it's pretty good I mean I want to be real picky I could just do this. You can hear that hair, right? Yep, so I get BBS every day. Oh, got some blood. I hit BBS like every day. I know it sounds crazy. I don't know if I'm the only one who does that. I'm sure not, but yeah, man. I just like having a baby butt smooth face. Like it feels good. I don't like having extra scruff. Like same thing with the length. It gets too long, I get irritated. But it's a pretty close shave. Um, let me get the splash. This is, oops. This is that great splash right here. Cool. So I don't really need the rescue potion with this stuff. It's a top splash. But I do like to mix it with the Zingari bomb. And I put like Five drops, something like that. Six, seven, eight, nine. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Get my face a little wet. So a little bit of tingling on the neck. I did, uh, I think I overshaved just a little bit, but I'm still used to shaving while being, while filming. I feel like I get distracted by the phone. I don't know. This is fantastic scent though. You gotta get the cologne if you like the scent. Like, it's just no brainer. 
All right, guys. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.